Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, live event with uh, Kilian Jarnett. My name is uh, Greg Vollett and I'm the Sports Marketing Manager for Salomon. We will offer you the S-Lab Sense story, how this project was born, how it was done and what was the Kilian involvement. And for it, we will invite uh, Patrick Lake uh, from the Research and Development Department and uh, Nicolas Orvé, our biomechanical. So the story behind uh, the S-Lab Sense began at uh, the 2010 uh, Western State 100, the most recognized uh, ultra trail race uh, in the US. So Kilian, what's the particularity of this race? So Western State is a very particular race. Uh, uh, we start in the, in the mountains at uh, Squirrel Valley at uh, 2,000 meters. And the first part is uh, a little bit technical uh, with the snow and then we, we come to, to the valley, to the canyons, it's really gris, so it's really hard and then uh, in, I think it's the first year I come in 2010 I, I didn't prepare for, for these conditions. Yeah, I remember uh, I was waiting for you at uh, 5k to the finish line and uh, you were uh, fighting uh, with cramps, uh, dehydration. So I remember uh, I saw uh, Jeff Rose uh, running uh, to the victory, and then uh, Anton Kopriska uh, running an amazing race, and then no one. <laughs> it was so long to wait for you, and the, the minutes was endless. <laughs> so suddenly uh, I, I saw you, a reading with uh, Nick Clark, and I would like that uh, you share with us uh, what you tell me at this moment. At this moment, I'm thinking about uh, the the race of uh, following year. I'm thinking uh, who prepare better, who race better next year. So I, I think it's not about uh, my training. It's more about uh, the preparation for the heat, so the climatization to come. Uh, before to USA and to stay at uh, Auburn for training and then the equipment, so changing my, my equipment for, for the race. And what was your uh, specific needs for this race? Uh, first of all, uh, we need to drink a lot in the race. In 2010, uh, I don't drink and <laughs> it's the class for this, so uh, we develop a, a hydration system. It's, it's not possible to carry a, a camera back, a water in the back because it's too hot, so we, we develop a, a, a more really comfortable for, for running and, and drinking. So like this, I have water during, during all the race. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then uh, also the, the upper silhouette, I, I, I asked for a more breathable uh, uh, silhouette. Breathable? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. For the warm, and then uh, the most important, the, the shoes. But the shoes. So, uh, I would like to tell you uh, what happened after uh, the crossing line of the Western State 2010. Because uh, I never seen Kilian in such a state of fatigue. So, what happened when you crossed the line in 2010? <laughs> I asked for a share, I asked for seating for, for the car because I, I, I had scams in all my body. I, I was destroyed, and when I go to the medical uh, checking, uh, I, I urinate uh, blood, and uh, the doctor was uh, right about uh, that. My you stay in observation during yeah, two hours, uh, two hours uh, with the doctor, and uh, and after these two hours, after the, the finish line, I remember that with Patrick, uh, we we carry you. Uh, to the hotel, it was yeah. impossible for you to walk. And then in the morning, the same. I, I sleep, and when I wake up, uh, it's impossible to to move from from the bed. So I I ask yours to to take me for coming to the breakfast. And and then you know uh, I want just uh, to say that because Kilian knows suffering. Uh, I saw him uh, during the the Pyrenees crossing. Uh, it was just one month. Before, yeah. uh, suffering over there again here at the Western State, but 
what have you done one week uh, after the Western State in 2010? Well, uh, I stay in USA, uh, so uh, I need to discover the country. Um, after three hard days uh, in Yosemite, I, I go to Grand Canyon, I run the Rent Rent Rim, then to Colorado, Mount Ever, Mount Massive, and Mount Sanitas in, in Boulder. So be, before, before to, to ask uh, how was the collaboration uh, between Kellyanne and their, their LD, I would like to show you uh, an SLAB video, uh, the footwear SLAB video, where uh, you will uh, see uh, how we work with our athletes. My name is Nicolas Orvé. I work on the R&D team uh, for footwear and I'm a biomechanical engineer. For the sense shoes, the, um, the needs of Kilian is to run for foot. And we work with Kilian in order to develop the best shoes in order to run for foot with protection. We know that in order to run for foot, we need to try to run for foot progressively. And we want to propose in the future a range with uh, different heel drop in order to switch progressively to a forefoot running, always with protection. On trail running, it's impossible to dissociate proprioception and protection. In the sense, we develop a new concept called proprioception in order to mix the two parts. The profile insert in the forefoot area in order to dissipate the heel impact. The hand sensifit in order to keep a good proprioception. The dynamic traction in order to have the best grip as possible. Patrick, uh, who is the S-Lab uh, Advanced Manager for the Footwear Department. Uh, what was the, the collaboration with Kilian to develop uh, this product? Well, the collaboration with Kilian is uh, always a great uh, pleasure. And, uh, I was uh, with Kilian at the Western State in uh, 2010. And, um, in fact, it was a good opportunity to, uh, to know exactly what, what you need. And do you remember, uh, Kilian, what was your... Uh, your needs after the, the Western State? Yeah, first of all, is the, is the weight as light as is possible. But uh, not, not just this, in Western States, it's, so it's very hot uh, and we, we crossing a lot of rivers do, during the race. Mm. So it's important to be dry in the feet. Uh, so I ask uh, to, to have a very, uh, very dressing uh, shoe and if it's possible to, to run without shocks. Yeah, so we started with, uh, with Kilian uh, two months after the, the Western State. We started in September 2010, and uh, the target was clear from the beginning. Uh, we must be ready for the Western State 2011. So we started to test some uh, marathon shoe to have an idea uh, how to uh, build the upper part of the shoe. And uh, very, uh, very quick the shoe, so you have the final uh, part of the shoe here. And uh, the target was to be uh, as light as possible, but to uh, bring some protection to the shoe also, to be protective. How many prototypes have you made? Uh, for the, for the, before to define the project, uh, ab about 40 prototypes. We tested about 40 prototypes with Kilian. You have some here you can show maybe? Yeah, this one, this one. 
were some prototypes we tested. Uh, it was some test. Uh, this one was a normal tone construction. This one uh, was a uh, socks inside. We'll discuss it in, uh, in detail uh, later. So this was the first uh, part of the, um, of the project. And maybe the most difficult was to work on the bottom part because uh, the deal was to make a shoe as low as possible to the ground, but to, to have enough comfort and enough protection. So after many tests uh, with Kilian, uh, we started uh, industrial uh, prototypes. And uh, in April uh, 2008, we were ready to, uh, to launch uh, this shoe. So it was a discussion with uh, Greg and uh, Kilian because we had the opportunity to test the shoe during the, Australia, uh, the race in Australia. It was not uh, in the schedule, but uh, as we were ready, it was a good test. And do you remember, Kilian, uh, what was the result of the test? <laughs> yeah, well, I saw really well because it's the first time that I put uh, the, the shoe in my feet and raise uh, 100k. Uh, I, I, I've been not confident, and, and for the race, I take uh, two old shoes uh, if that was well, but uh, then I uh, start running with, with the sense and uh, I haven't any problem. I, I run, I run, I run, and during the first uh, 60, 70 k uh, was perfect then. I have some some blisters uh, in in the. Uh, I I ran on the race with with one pair, so it was a perfect test. Yeah, but I remember the blister were <laughs> quite, yeah, yeah, quite, well. quite big. <laughs> but it was uh, it was a good test because uh, it's always difficult to uh, to bring a new shoe for a, a race like the Western State. It's a big challenge, so it was a good test for us and it. Uh, more time to uh, to modify a little bit the product. In fact, so during all the development, we discovered that uh, Kilian uh, ran uh, four foot, and uh, we need to develop a shoe with uh, some uh, specific a little bit more about this. About this technique. So Nicola is uh, our biomechanical lab manager for the footwear department. So can you describe your job uh, in the footwear department? Yes. Um, my job for the, for the trial running is to uh, well understand and analyze the, the running techniques of uh, all the runners, and especially uh, Kilian, and also to validate and, uh, all our concepts and technology in terms of human performance. So, Kilian, uh, can you explain us your specific running technique? Well, I think when, when, you, when you run, you need to run with the forefoot. Uh, because uh, it's the, the natural position for for running, but also for skiing, but also for uh, it's car, this position is not in the in the bag, it's not uh, uh, too much in the forest, it's, it's this position. I think it's too important to, to be, to be uh, when you uh, run at, at, at the, the forefoot, and then to just put the, the bag, uh, and sometimes in downhills, but to rest uh, with the gravity center to the, to the forefoot. Uh, and for you, what is uh, the benefit of running for foot in trail running? Well, I think so. Is uh, when you see uh, all the animals are four foot. You see uh, they they has uh, the feet here and the the, the talon is, is is not uh, in the foot. Is is the heel is is up there. So why they run uh, four foot the, all the animals and, and not not us? So I think it's important to to put the the feet in the in this part. Uh, when you're running uh, up and also down, and just put the, the heel when you go yeah. down in, in very steep paths uh, for gliding, but uh, more to with, with this part is is better for absorb all the the energy when when you run and you you run with the heel to absorb the shock. To absorb the shock. This is not absorb when you run like this. Is the the knee, the ankle, all the all your body that absorb all the energies. So, Nicola, you made uh, a lot of research uh, also around this topic, uh, around this technique, to, uh, to gather a maximum of uh, data. To find the best compromise in terms of uh, running for and uh, to have enough heel cushioning and uh, forefoot protection in order to run forefoot in trail running. And uh, with Kilian, we, uh, we test uh, different construction, different heel high and heel drop in order to, to know what is uh, the best construction. Is it uh, a very thick midsole like this, or, thanks, Kylian, or um, race road running competition shoes, or 
something like this who are uh, more close than the, the, fin the, final, uh, the final construction. And uh, in fact, we, we found that um, the thickness of uh, 30 millimeters in the hill and 9 millimeters as a metatars are the best solution to be able to run for foot and also to have enough cushioning in the hill part when uh, we have more fatigue and you want to, to push the hill uh, on the ground and to have enough protection in the, in the forefoot area in order to not have blister or sweat in the, in the forefoot part of the foot. Yes, uh, I think so. It's not uh, just a uh, uh, mountain you start running, it's not running. So we need some protection. And with uh, this crustacean uh, is, is where we have uh, uh, the the 13 millimeters here for for protect when you go down, and then I think it's an important thing we have a a, a plate in the metatars to protect or fed for stones, and then to be uh, a little bit protect. So is uh, it's important to think that it's uh, we run mountains and we need to protect. And not only in the world. Yeah. <laughs> to for this amazing, amazing project and development and all the magic moments uh, that we had during this time. Uh, we, were like, we would like to show you uh, the Western State video. Uh, you will be able also to, to ask uh, all the, the questions to, to all of us. I wrote the ad for when it was the and it said, the ultimate challenge in bold block print. Um, 100 miles of cross-country running to the high mountains and deep canyons of Northern California, Sierra Nevada mountains, right Western States Trail Foundation, Auburn, California. And you didn't have to put any more than that on the envelope. It would get there. <laughs>And 10 minutes before the start, you know, it's like nobody was there. They're all back there taking care of their horses. And there's Ralph and Betty Deaver. And I walk up to them and I say, well, I guess I'll be heading out now. And they said, good luck, Gordy. And I disappeared into the dark. And that was it. You know, it was, it was just the most inauspicious thing. It, it's almost like nobody knew it happened. Not a thousand of spectators, it's not a thousand of, of runners. But when you run here, you you feel with all the history. Is the is here that uh, ultra running is is born. So you, you really want to to understand uh, his sports, and here you can be connected with this. For me, last year I, I learned a lot. Uh, it's very different than uh, the races that I normally run. On. Last year, uh, I saw Killian arriving with uh, Nick Clark. And uh, just tell me, we have to prepare differently the race for next year. I talk uh, to changing the strategy of the race and to changing the strategies to changing also the material. When I come back uh, from the Western State and I, I told uh, the, the, the feedbacks from Kilian that we have to uh, develop a specific uh, equipment for this race. 
And just after the race, uh, we talk. We we talk a lot, a lot of hours. And uh, we had a lot of brainstorming uh, with Kilian, with the research and development department for the footwear, for the apparels, and for the bags. Uh, you have to be close to, uh, to the person who uses your shoe to make sure the shoe is the best one. Uh, We work a lot, we, we test, and finally, in the, the day, uh, all works perfect, and this is it's amazing. You know, he's always here for evolving uh, the equipment, but also the sports. When, uh, when you run along a difficult race, you will think a lot the person that uh, run with you all the, the persons that are working in the, in the products are here. Good evening, at the 2011 Western States Hundred Kilian Journal. This is, I think it's especially true of Western States, but it's probably true of a lot of other races too. And you, you come out of it and you're just not the same. You're not the same person. And, and that's good. This is uh, from UTMB. And then I race uh, maybe 200 kilometers more, so uh, it's around three, 300, uh, 350 kilometers. So it's why we do some tests uh, during the press series, and uh, we, you see, uh, wait, it is, and, uh, it's why we did some modification, and uh, the shoe uh, yeah. will be selling the shop in, uh, in May, will be more durable for sure, and let's mm -hmm. say, yeah, we, we can say about 300, 500 kilometers, between uh -huh. 300 and 500 kilometers. Yeah, you, you can see that uh, the outside yeah, like, uh, is what's completely changed, different. Yeah. What changes? Uh, it's not TVA anymore in this area. It's a rubber everywhere to avoid uh, this kind of problem. And we change also the quality of the rubber to have better durability and to keep a good grip. So question number two. Uh, Kilian from uh, Jeff. Uh, Kilian, your training... Uh, 365 uh, days a year. How do you protect yourself from injury? Oh, yeah, I don't training every day. <laughs> I, I have maybe 10 days rest in the year. So uh, no, for for uh, for injury, I I think so one thing is important for me is that I, I have mid-season running, mid-season skiing. So for this, I recover my muscles, my my legs, and then. I think so the, the the important is the adaptation. Uh, I I start running when I I was zero years old. So <laughs> I I I be all the time in the mountain and my uh, the body adapt. Uh, I think it's important to increase the training, uh, not more than ten percent every year. And if you you run like this and then to to take care with the technique when you're running to. Train a lot for for be easy in the racing for recovery easy things. Uh, it's important to thinking about recovery like uh, uh, sleeping well, uh, eating uh, with uh, be muscle. We we are in mountain, so we need to have uh, strength in in the legs. You told me many times that uh, when you arrive at the end of the ski season, uh, you want to run. And yeah. when you arrive at the end of the running season, you want to ski. <laughs> yes, I love mountains, so I need mountains. And, and is this that at the end of the running season, uh, for motivation, uh, I need to, to change and need to, to, to go uh, to, to snow. And now uh, it's just uh, four weeks for uh, finish the, the ski season. So now with, uh, with sun, we... Uh, I, I like to, to, to run, so I think it's important to to don't run every day and in the same uh, in the same mountains. It's it's not the same if you run every day in the road, 
or you're in the grass, in the rocks. So it, more you change, uh, more your body adapts to and, and the injuries, more or less. Yeah, and you can discover more. Uh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. So next question from uh, Raf. Uh, question for uh, Nicola. Uh, why 4 millimeter drop? Why not any other drop? What about the S-Lab XT wings you use? Are they 4 millimeter as well? In fact, concerning the, the drop, we, we tested uh, with Kilian and uh, all the other athletes during the, the same study with this uh, prototype. And we, we test different uh, drops. And um, if you want to, to create a, a pure um, four-foot running shoes, it's the, the best is zero drop. But uh, with this, it's impossible to, to have the compromise with uh, four-foot running shoes and uh, protection. And uh, the best we found that the best compromise compromise is with a uh, four mm to have a four-foot running shoes, but with heel cautioning and four-foot protection. And um, concerning the, uh, the XT wings, maybe what it can uh, explain. Yeah, concerning the, the XT wings, uh, in fact, with Kilian, we test a lot of prototypes. So it's, some are 4mm drop, for some are 6, 8 also, mm. depending on the race condition, uh, depending on what kind of uh, things Kilian want to do with uh, the shoe. But I think all the prototypes we develop with the, the XT wings help us also to define uh, the, the new sense and to say, okay, for uh, for this kind of race, like the Western States, the 4 drop is, is the best. So, question number four from uh, Trey Renshop. Do you do all of your training on the sense? Me, yes. Uh, last year, I, I started the season with uh, my pair of prototype of sense and with my, my wings. So, I, I, I like the sense. I, li I like the... It's very light, and I like the protection. So I, I run not just uh, at the the main at the beginning. It's just for Western stage. Uh, it's the shoe for Western stage. At, at the end, I race uh, all the races: UTMB, uh, vertical kilometers, scale races, uh, very technical. So then was a, a shoe for 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 all racing, and and me. Uh, uh, I'm very light and running with the, the four foot, so I, I training with with this. But things uh, for for consumer is important to think. Uh, it's more a, a racing shoe than a training shoe. And uh, maybe we can say that uh, in the future we we develop a, a full range around this uh, this, one, this this racing shoes, and we have uh, the opportunity to to run with uh, the training shoes. Yes, we will de decline uh, these uh, shoes. Uh, with a training shoes and uh, that will be on the, this uh, natural motion pillars, right? So question number five uh, from the Swedish trail running. Kilian, you are quite light. What do you more heavier teammates think about the shoe? Uh, <laughs> Who's the most heavier? <laughs> Who's the most heavier? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's not just about the weight, but uh, the... Uh, the the kind of running if you are more forefoot more more back foot but uh, I the first time that uh, we we saw the the shoe I remember in advance week all the all the runners says well I uh, I like to to be a, a pair I, I know Miguel Eras like it uh, Ryan like it uh, of course Jonathan like it so I, I think uh, if you run more in the forefoot is not uh, a problem about the weight. Is in the metatars, not in the in the heel, so it's it's not the the that uh, uh, protect your articulations. Is is your body, your techniques. And in fact, uh, all the team, uh, the seven team, will discover the shoe uh, in one week, yeah. during the advanced week, because uh, today we have only two sizes: the size 8.5 and the size 7 for Kilian. So they will discover it in uh, in one week, and we will have the answer. <laughs> They will be able to run uh, this yeah. season uh, with uh, this shoe. They are waiting for the shoe, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Me, uh... <laughs> uh, question number six. Trail run shop. Uh, did you train over drops between your XT wings as lap 12 millimeters and your Sense 4 millimeters? Mm, I, I try a lot of uh, different drops in the last three, four years. But uh, at the end, uh, I 
I know that my perfect drop it's, it's uh, the same four millimeters. So now for last uh, year and this year I, I run in this in this kind of, of shoes. You uh, didn't run uh, at the Kinabalu race with these shoes. Can you explain why? Yeah, in Kinabalu is is for because it's a very special race. It's very moot and it's very slippery mm -hmm. in the downhill. So I I was afraid about uh, in in my prototype uh, in in the first uh, the other one the yeah. other one we don't have a caoutchouc here. It's just uh, EBA, so it's very slippery. And I I take uh, a wings uh, modified uh, without uh, chassis, more like a uh, drop, but uh, with uh, the full uh, uh, outsole. So uh, then I I take for be more uh, to be more contact in the rocks. Question number seven from Ark: uh, What do Kilian think about running barefoot or really minimal? Uh, if you run in the in the grass in a park, yes. But me, I'm a mountain runner, so I need uh, like an animal. Humans are <laughs> are not well. If you see uh, uh, all the animals in mountains, they are uh, they have a, a good uh, fetch for coming. But uh, we need uh, some protection. We need uh, to to have uh, protection for the stones, for the for the snow, for the uh, the works, the works for, for also uh, uh, in mountain we need uh, a little bit of protection. Uh, question number eight from Gallo. I guess the question number one is when are the shoes are going to be available in all countries? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I, I will be able to answer you. Uh, that will be a launch in June uh, for all the countries. Uh, number nine from Rosico, trail only any good for road? Uh, this is not my question because the <laughs> <laughs> road is just uh, too crossing for coming to another hill. <laughs> I think it's, it's a great. Uh, I have uh, friends that uh, expect also this this shoe for for road running for triathlon because uh, they has protection, they has a uh, custodian, but uh, also a very light shoe. And uh, I think so for road uh, works well too. So just for the small story, uh, we have a, a Greek athlete, uh, Dimitris Theodorakakos, who is a, a marathon athlete also. And uh, he will run uh, his next marathon uh, with this shoe also. <laughs> uh, question number 10 from uh, Pirene. Will Kilian spend some time in the US and when? So uh, <laughs> uh, in uh, in one month, I, uh, in two months, I, I come back to, to Western States, and then in July, August, I spend two months in in USA. So for w will, which race? Uh, uh, will you so run there? first uh, Western, then a Speed Goat in uh, in uh, close to Park City, and then uh, the Bikes Peak Marathon in, in Colorado. Great. Uh, question number 11 from Gallo. Uh, how well does the sense handle on wet roads, either dirt or rocks? Uh, so in, in wet, uh, uh, I says we, we start with these prototypes. They are more, more open, so some wet comes, comes into the shoe and the the last uh, shoe was a little bit more closed, so it was well, and also the the sole has a, a small crampons for 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 the wet uh, conditions, and then is I say running in Malaysia with uh, with uh, this lab shoe because uh, we don't have a, this this part with caoutchouc. But uh, when I ask again that I run with uh, this uh, the this new one? shoe. Uh, to not to the top of Mont Blanc, but uh, to the <laughs> Dom de Goutte at uh, for four thousand meters. And when I run in, in downhill to the Goutte uh, with uh, with uh, wet uh, with uh, snow, and I don't I don't sleep. So I think so it's impossible to to have a shoe uh, for all the conditions. But uh, I think so with this outsole, it's because it's a good compromise. 
Question number 12 from Bry. Hi Kilian, is the sense built in such similar to the XR version? Door to trail or pure trail? Uh, door to trail, uh, <laughs> I don't know because my door is in the trail, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I think that I can answer this, this question by I, I run sometimes in more flat trails and works well, but uh, I say that is a uh, more racing is is not uh, a training shoe like a door to trail or like a xir or like a wings is more a, a racing shoe so it's important maybe to have the xr for for training and then to have the this one for for racing so uh, as you we we tell you just before uh, this one is the s lab version but uh, we will have a training version also and uh, it will be under the the door to trail pillars uh, because uh, the other version uh, will uh, will be the, the the shoes for your uh, week uh, of training, and then you will take this one for the race. So, question number thirteen: uh, Does the sense have any over pronation control? I think Cap Patrick can. Uh, there is no over pronation control because it's. Uh Low profile uh, shoe, and uh, for this kind of shoe, we don't need to have uh, low profile. <coughs> no, in fact, when uh, when you run for foot, uh, you don't have uh, pronation effect. You know, the pronation appears when you you touch the ground with uh, with the heel, and uh, especially if, if we have a, a very uh, high uh, midsole in the in the heel. So uh, with this low profile, I, I say, uh, Patrick, you don't have any uh, pronation effect, and if you run for foot, you don't have also pronation. Next question from uh, Rosico. Will stones get stuck in those holes in the grip? So I think Kylian is able to answer because with all the tests he has done. <laughs> yes, I, I, I run a lot in, in very technical trials uh, with uh, a lot of stones and uh, I, I never uh, feel the, the stones in, in this part. I, I think this with with the protection was is the solution of of the of the problem of uh, when i run with uh, wings sometimes I, I feel the the stones and with with this part i, I never never feel and the stones never rest in in this uh, yeah these legs yeah question uh, number 14 from uh, vincent when I choose shoes, uh, I take one size more than my real size. What about with the sense? Uh, for me, uh, I I be surprised that normally I I have the same uh, my my shoes. I take one more size for for the downhills for be more comfortable, and with the sense, uh, our, the protection is a little bit more Closing. soft and close. And I don't feel uh, uh, that the also you can see that in the in the shoe is a, a mid uh, shock, so they takes really well the the feet. And I I use a one maybe a half more size, but uh, the feet don't don't moves a lot in in go. Uh, I think it's important to to try uh, in the in the shop, but. Uh, with uh, maybe just a, a middle size here as well. But, uh, this is something we took care of during the development, is to develop the last and to have enough room uh, in this area in this to area. avoid uh, to touch. And, uh, yeah, we, we changed uh, three, three times, I think, yeah. the, the form in, the, yeah. in this part. To and as you said, as <laughs> you have a good, uh, good uh, foothold, uh, the foot doesn't move in the shoe, so that you cannot touch. Uh, but the best is to try the shoe for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Question number 15 uh, from Jive. At Nicolas, uh, do you think those shoes are for everyone? Yeah, of course. Um, the, uh, <laughs> this shoes is, uh, is for everybody who wants to try to run for foot. Uh, if you want to, to try to run for foot in trial running, you can choose this one in, uh, during the race. And uh, in the future, you can choose uh, the training shoes uh, for all uh, our training. And um, in fact, 
I think it's uh, everybody can uh, can try to, to run for foot, and it, uh, the the most important thing is to to be very progressive uh, when you you pass to to run uh, to run for foot. Uh, maybe the, the first time you only run for foot uh, one or two minutes, and the second time uh, three or four minutes, and more and more every every training and uh, every training. And uh, with this technique, I think that uh, everybody can uh, can try. Question number 16 from uh, Fit to Fiction. Does Kellyan do all his running in the sense now, or will he go to other shoes for different events? So, uh, uh, I answered before that, uh, well, now I'm skiing, I started start running. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ski with, uh, yes, in summer, last summer for developing and for racing, I, I race all the, I train, all, all my training is with the sense and, I race uh, all the races. Uh, there's uh, Malaysia with with this one, and is this that we are surprised for the um, versatility of the shoe from vertical kilometers to long distance. Then uh, I say, me, I, I run all the time for foot, and I I don't use uh, when I running with uh, slab shoes. I, I run all the time also with the, the forefoot, so I, I don't need, in my case, the, the protection, the, the heel, or the, the, the crustacean. Question number six, 17 from uh, Rob Trail. Uh, I've noticed, noticed that uh, the S-Lab had some pronation control by default. Are the sense designed in that same way, or there will be neutral and control version? Yeah, I think uh, the techniques uh, is uh, enough for to didn't have in don't need any pronation on the on the shoes. So it's neutral. Uh, from Roma, hi Kilian. My question is: What's the main difference in terms of sensation between the sense and the head slap four? The low drop allow a better running technique. Uh, hi Romain. Uh... <laughs> So I think they are two two different concepts. It's uh, two different techniques of running. So the the sensations are are really different. When you run in in the slab four, the wings slab four, uh, you you run more in the in the in the back foot or in the flat, and and or in the sense uh, is more when when you're running uh, in the front. So in downhill, at the beginning, uh, it's normal to have a, uh, to be more tight in the, in the calf and maybe in the, in the quadriceps because uh, you need uh, more muscular strength uh, for running in this, in this position. But uh, it's, you need time to, to adapt from one and, and the other one. Uh, maybe the, the last part of the question. Yes, uh, the heel drop uh, have an influence on the, on the running technique. You you, uh, you validate this, and uh, also the the heel height of the of the insole. And uh, in the future, we want to, to publish this uh, this information in a scientific review. With how many athletes have you worked uh, to gather all these data? We uh, we work uh, we work with uh, twelve or fourteen athletes. I don't remember it, but uh, yeah. A lot of, lot of uh, athletes in about to... And each athlete have test a lot of different shoes, right? A lot of athletes uh, test... Uh, each athlete tests 60 pairs. 16? 60 pairs uh, for the times. <laughs> so, a uh, question from uh, Boudé Winged. Could you guys please explain more about the plate inside? Yeah, Patrick. Can you... So there is a plate uh, inside the shoe, and uh, the plate is in between two layers of EVA. So the main reason is uh, if you want to keep a good uh, cushioning, so for sure you can place, you can have the plate just after the outsole. But in this case, you have a stiff, uh, yeah, we can say like that, we have stiff contact to the ground. It's not really uh, comfortable. And uh, the construction, so it's patented. The construction was uh, to build, uh, to put the protection. You have something more to add, uh, Kian? I think it's it's like <laughs> <laughs> uh, Next question from uh, Bert. Uh, what about the next Kilian's quest? 
Hi, you see, I think so you need to, to follow the Facebook of Salomon and the, the website, and uh, uh, in, in some, some weeks, weeks uh, uh, you your next uh, episode. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it will happen again this year. Uh, from Willy now, uh, what do you think about... What do you think when you run? Oof, uh, a lot of things. Uh, I run every day, a lot of hours, so... Uh, when you go training, you, you think about uh, it's like uh, when you go to work or when you go to, to shopping. Uh, you, you think about uh, about the life. Uh, you think about uh, uh, the schedule, about uh, um, about uh, your life. And uh, in racing, uh, I think uh, uh, in short races you you are concentrate about uh, about the tactic, about the, the other runners, about uh, the the track. But in long races, the, the most important is to disconnect and to thinking about uh, another thing. So it's important to use uh, music, uh, to, to listen, to, to disconnect, or to, to thinking about uh, histories, uh, or to don't, don't feel the, the pain. So the pain is, uh, you, you need to, to, to know that the pain is in your body and, and it's impossible to, to be disappear, but you it's important thinking about uh, other things for don't, don't think about the pain. I remember that uh, you told me that when you have a big pain in your body, uh, you focus on something outside of your body and it was uh, what you can smell, what you can hear, what you can touch. And it was something that it was really interesting. What do you do? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I think it's, it's this that you, you need to don't thinking about uh, about your your body, your pain, because like this you, you stop the race or you stop the training in the moment. So it's important to focus uh, about uh, first of all the view when you're running mountains. Mm. It's amazing. So you, you need to, to to see this and then uh, uh, mountain are, are living. So uh, you, you need to be in contact with mm. with her about all the the sense. A uh, question from Jeff uh, for Patrick and Nicolas. Uh, running for foot, is it physically different? Yes, for sure. Um, for, I, I think about a uh, different study of the team of uh, Lieberman in the US who, who found that uh, running for foot is more efficient. And uh, for, uh, for sure, it's, it's better for performance. And... Uh, uh, the important thing is to help uh, your calf uh, because it's more difficult for, for the calf at the beginning. And uh, as I said previously, it's, uh, it's important to, to begin progressively to, to run for foot and uh, to run uh, one minute at the, the first time and two minutes, three minutes. And uh, in order to, to train our calf to, to support the, the new technique. Patrick, you want to add something? I have something? nothing to add. Uh, it's a no. biomechanical uh, question. <laughs> <laughs> question uh, from Bruni. Uh, hi, Kilian. Does the trail is a sport for all ages? Hi, Bruni. Uh, I think so. yes. Sir. Uh, so, you have one example is uh, Mark Olmo. He wants uh, UTMB at uh, 60 years old. Um, and you? Uh, uh, me, I, I want at 20, but I <laughs> start uh, younger. I, I follow a lot of uh, young races in, in Catalonia and Spain that uh, start running at 10, 11 years old with short races, but uh, it's more fun. I think it's the difference between running and trail running is, is, is the fun. So things uh, you can choose a different race from kids to, to uh, old people. Uh, next question from uh, Chris. Is there going to be a female version of the sense as well? Or maybe Patrick can. Uh, yes, for sure. It's in the mid-term plan. Uh, I will not tell you uh, which year we launch uh, this uh, female version, but uh, this is something we are studying uh, right now. Okay, and uh, you you know where when uh, it will happen? Maybe in the coming uh, two years, let's say. Yeah. It's in the okay. so plan. It's it will be uh, uh, testing also uh, with uh, our athletes. For yeah. sure, we'll start to test it with our athletes. And uh, during the advance week, uh, when we uh, meet in one week, uh, we have some focus group to start to discuss this uh, project. Okay. Just for 
conclude uh, this uh, live event, uh, I would like to to remind you that uh, we we made uh, 106 pairs of uh, of shoes uh, with a special edition, and uh, and we have uh, 10 pairs. The last 10 pairs that uh, we will uh, we will organize. A so keep an eye on our uh, Salomon Running Facebook page. Uh, it will uh, it will start next week. We are really sorry about uh, the technical problem that uh, we had uh, at the start of uh, this live. And again, uh, I would like uh, to uh, to say thank you to all of you to follow us during uh, all year long. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.